Diabetes is a growing epidemic in this country. It affects nearly 24 million Americans and certain ethnic groups are more prone to having diabetes than others such as Mexican Americans, African Americans and Puerto Ricans. 65% of the people with the diabetes die as a result of cardiovascular disease such as stroke, heart attack and heart failure. Commonly, diabetic patients have high blood pressure, high cholesterol along with increase in the blood sugar leads to premature heart attack and stroke. Not only the diabetic patients are at more risk for having heart attack, it's often the first sign of them having heart disease and they tend to have multivessel artery involvement requiring bypass surgery. These patients do not do well with the angioplasty or stent, they do better with the surgery. By controlling the cholesterol, blood pressure, you can save a lot more lives. Simple lowering of the cholesterol, so-called bad cholesterol or LDL, you can reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke by as much as 35 to 40 percent. It's very important for them to understand the seriousness of the illness and simple lifestyle changes such as eating properly and exercising can reduce the risk of heart disease significantly. In anybody over the age 35 years of age who has never exercised, who is a diabetic, should be screened for underlying heart disease with a stress test before they engage in any kind of exercise program. Nearly one-fourth of the patients with diabetes with the vascular disease may not have any symptoms like a chest pain. So it is very important to see your doctor or a cardiologist and have them screen you for underlying heart disease and should be screened from time to time with a stress test to rule out any silent ischemic heart disease. I have a special interest in diabetes and heart disease and uh, as a result I also serve as the President of American Diabetes Association for the Broward County and I'm involved in raising funds for the research as diabetes is a growing epidemic putting a tremendous economic burden on our society.